So, hello. Uh, my first live that I'm going to do this week and a series of four um, lives from Tuesday to Friday. So I'm having a look at different distilleries in Ireland. And also I will be talking a little bit about music and stuff. So I will do, I will do a bit of talk about the distilleries and at the end of the, the live I will also let you know about a recommendation about a song. And um, fun stuff is that probably at the, at the end of this, this live today and Tuesdays and Wednesdays you will have the uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays you will have the, the chance to figure out where we're going next in Ireland and to which distillery we will continue moving on forward. So today will be a bit different, different because we will be looking at four different distilleries and it will be the four distilleries that are operational in the central parts of Dublin, in the Liberties. Um, so we're not counting Jameson, the Jameson is more of like a, a visitor center and uh, about Dublin city spirits they're also making whiskey but I'm not sure about them I don't really know what uh, what they're up to so uh, because we have the power of imagination we can do whatever we want in, in life right now uh, except travel <laughs> so we're going to do a virtual travel so think that you are moving through Temple Bar on a sunny day or it's raining perhaps or it's switching because it's island anything can happen and you have uh, grabbed the, the the mandatory pint and then you moved on you're passing uh, passing the, the central areas and moving along the cobbled streets of temple bar listening to the music and watching all the people moving past what's called the rory gallery's corner and um, if you've been to ireland you've perhaps seen his fender guitar hanging on on top of uh, like uh, like a street corner so it's it's called Rory, Gall Rory Gallery's Corner so think about that because it's going to be one of the songs recommended at the end of the the live show the live stream so moving on you walk down the streets and you eventually end up at St. Patrick's Cathedral sit down for a wee we rest perhaps a coffee that you brought from one of the local coffee shops hello everyone <laughs> and um, after that, you can grab another pint, probably a lot cheaper, uh, at one of the bars in the Liberties than than the the Guinness that you can buy in, in the central parts of Dublin. And after that, you make your way to the first distillery we're looking at, and in the Liberties, this is the first distillery that I visited in in Ireland and in Dublin. A uh, very special place in my heart. So we're going to have a wee drink of this one. It's the, the first Irish whiskey apart from Jameson and Powers I've ever had. So it's Teeling. And we're going to have, I'm going to have it. You're not going to have it if you don't have it. Uh, the rum cask, the small batch rum cask. Uh, with my Teeling glass, of course. It's, it's a fresh, very fresh whiskey and... Uh, I think it, it can it can be used for anything. It can be used for mixing drinks. It can be used to drink neat, and I think it's it's a lot underrated because you always look for the the unicorn whiskies and the, oh this is explosive. This has this and it's it's five hundred years old and um, it's yeah everything. But it, this is a good whiskey, and but I will not go into taste notes that much because I will be explaining later on why not. This is a good one. So the first distillery, Teeling, is located in Newmarket in, in Ireland, in the Liberties. And only a stone throw away from that distillery. Oh, by the way, Teeling is celebrating their sixth year anniversary, their birthday on the 12th of June, I think. Still some tickets left for the virtual event. And I think they will do something live, of course, because uh, certain things have been opening up in Ireland uh, a bit. So a stone throw away from uh, Teeling distillery will find the next distillery that I'm heading to and I mean it's like five minutes so we're visiting the Dublin Liberties distillery and having a copper alley this is a 10 year old whiskey that I find very very nice and it's it's almost door to door door to door so if you're visiting Teeling you should absolutely go down and visit Dublin Liberties distillery they're very nice and they have very good whiskies and I have a glass. Cool, right? Uh, the fun thing about Dublin Liberties Distillery is that it, it's almost the same story with Teeling. Like Teeling, 
they they started selling their their spirits. They had a sourced whiskey stock from Cooley Distillery, from where yeah probably from where Stephen and Jack Thielen originated, whiskey wise. And just checking the phone. Same thing is with uh, Dublin Liberties Distillery. A lot of their whiskey uh, they haven't made themselves, but they've been brought in by Darren McNally, the master distiller from Bushmills. So it's it's pretty good liquid, how what however however way you put it, and um, this is very enjoyable, classy, classy whiskey. I really really like this. You can try the core range for package prices at the distillery when they open up. You can also grab a few bottles. I have the Oak Devil and I have a distillery exclusive. The people working there, very, very nice people. Uh, truth though is that one of the, the, the nicer guys there, Neil Donnelly, I think it's O'Neill, I don't know how it's pronounced. He just started a new job at James Fox's Dublin. So uh, the, the DLD, uh, this is the Copper Alley, 10 year old. I couldn't afford, afford the Murder Lane at the time <laughs> when I was there because I really liked the, the Murder Lane more. But this is, um, yeah, it's, it's not much left in it. So as you can see, it's, it's draining fast. Or yeah, I've had it for a year. Mm. Both those distilleries were worth visiting. Very nice place. After hanging around in the, in the new market in the Liberties, you should probably go for beer. It's pretty close to the Guinness storehouse if you want to go there and uh, do the tour and yeah go up to the to the, the the bar at the top yeah do that it, it's a fun thing it's a tourist attraction or you can go to one of the closer bars and have a Guinness for a cheap price uh, a bit further up in in the southern parts of Dublin just below the the Liffey and on I think it's ooh, James Street or something like that you will find our next stop. So the next stop on in our Liberty's walk tour is Pierce Lions. And sadly now it started raining, so it's it's a good time to head into this distillery. But first, I mean, despite the rain, just go around and check out the, the settings around the, the, the distillery because there's a, there's an old churchyard at the back and it's the tour I that I visited a few years back it's very very nice and it's very nice people this is something very different this whiskey it's, it's a seven year old uh, whiskey and aged in ex bourbon barrels and sherry butts for no less than seven years 43 percent yeah Paddy Englishman James Street is Pierce indeed yeah I have something in my head uh, I haven't Fucked it up drinking whiskey too much. <laughs> one thing about this whiskey that I probably am the only one thinking is that I've tried the Haypenny gin that they also make, and I get some some gin notes. Some of the the spice or notes from this whiskey reminds me so much about the gin in a good way. I really like this one. And it, I mean, it's recommended. The tour is also very, very good. I don't have a glass. That's, uh, I cry myself to sleep at night. Yeah, so I will be finishing those after the, the, the live because I can't, can't chug whiskey in the, in the, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Uh, last stop, and also a stone throw away from Pierce Lyons Distillery. It's the last one in our Liberties walk tour, whiskey walk tour, and it's Ronco. Actually, also the, the, the latest or last distillery I visited in, in the Liberties, it's the last one on my stop, I think. It, uh, I don't remember if the, the order of openings has been Teeling, Liberties, Pierce and Row, or if Pierce was before Liberties, but I don't think so. I think the, Teeling, Liberties, Pierce and Ronco. So I, when I visited Row and Co, I did the the cocktail mixing tour, and I had the opportunity to do the tour with the BA from Diageo, and Diageo somehow owns Row and Co, so I got to try a little more whiskey than than on the normal tour. But it's a good it's a good place. It's very very nice, classy modern distillery. 
I don't remember the master distiller's name. I think it is a woman and that she recently has retired or something like that. So I don't know actually now who runs the show there. They're very nice people. And this is a blended Irish whiskey. This is also sourced, so it's not their own yet. They're doing, uh, they're, they're distilling their own spirit, but I think it's not finished yet. So this is a 45% and it's aged in bourbon casks. Mm. I also had the curator's cask like that too. Mm. A bit more wood notes on this one uh, than the, the Pierce. And uh, I mean, in, in under a few hours, you can visit four distilleries in walking distance in the Liberties. And after that, you can go to Jameson, you can experience the the Jameson experience and do the tours it's I mean it's not to be slagging them off it's very very good it's it's a good tour it's a nice setting so you should absolutely go if you're whiskey interested um, there are also whiskey walking tours the whiskey trail I think that you can you can check out online I mean they will they will need our support every city that you like will need the support of tourism people like us after the pandemic if it ever stops which I hope uh, and I've always heard the saying that uh, if, if you shouldn't buy a pint in Temple Bar because it's it's more expensive than uh, than outside Temple Bar. But Temple Bar would need our money as well if we can spend it. So don't be shy to buy a little extra if we get the chance to get there and visit our favorite cities. So why I haven't given extensive taste notes? Well, I'm not good at it. And Laura Hemi loved the Guinness storehouse too. Yeah, petty Englishman. True. Uh, at at uh, Row and Co. Yeah, so thanks. Uh, last thing I was going to do a shout out for if you want taste notes, if you like them and you'd like to identify flavors and and, um, and notes that you smell from uh, sniffing whiskey, check out the Irish Whiskey app. It's free. It's on Android and it's on it's on um, iOS. I won't get paid for this sadly, and I won't even get a hat from Connor Winders. I think so. Uh, very sad indeed. But it's a good thing to check out. It's cheap to do, and you can keep track of new releases and everything. So do that instead of listening to my ramblings. Because I'm mostly, if you ask me about a whiskey, I will tell you, well, I like it. Or, <laughs> and it, had wood, it has wood notes. I'm not the, the connoisseur that I make out myself to be. And last, I promised you a, a music recommendation. And it will be, I will say, you should check out Shadow Play or something by Rory Geller because he passed his corner in Dublin. And that is my coffee machine. Thinking it's a good time to shut itself off right in the middle of a live. Thank you very much. I think it's fucking Robocop. Yeah, so tomorrow we will go somewhere else in, in Ireland. And if you can figure out the county, I mean, it has a distillery and it has a connection to something I've said today. So, if you like it, comment on the, the live when I published it or something like that. And you can think about where is the possibility to go, to, which county will you go to and probably which distillery. So thank you for those uh, that had the time. If I haven't said hello, I'm saying hello now because I'm having a hard time following my phone. Take care of yourself and perhaps we will see each other tomorrow. Bye bye.